A big, big frustration that I see among students is how to get a good sound. And this applies to players of all levels, you know, at any level you are at. So, and everyone describes this at di in different ways. How do I get the perfect sound? How do I get to play with the sound that I hear in my mind? How do I become more lyrical? Whatever, you know. At the end of the day, it's all about creating a sound that is pleasant to hear, you know. So you have to like the sound first. You have to like your sound first in order for the audience, for the people, you know, that are listening to you to also like your sound, okay. And there are a few things that you want to do because what happens is the sound is a very abstract thing, you know, and everything happens in here. So you need to do a lot of thinking and a lot of... Um, molding in your head kind of thing in order to produce the, this, the sound that you want. So I'm going to show you three things that you can do in order to really start thinking about your sound and start molding the sound that you really want to create. Make sense? Cool. Let's do it. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a listening obsession for yourself. Okay. I prefer to use headphones when I listen and when I dedicate myself to really listening because it's just, it goes directly, goes deeper into your, your, inner ear into your brain okay and you want to listen to the players that you like okay usually are going to be saxophone players but don't be limited to saxophone players you know if you listen to a guitar player that you that you really admire that you go like oh my god this guy is just crazy okay just listen to that okay it's more about what you listen and more importantly is how that music makes you feel okay because then you're going to translate those emotions you know from that music into your own mind and into your own sound you know i'm not my saxophone sound is not only the result of me having listened to saxophone players but all it's like a mix of different instruments that i have listened over the years you know and i will keep listening to different people okay so be sure that you dedicate some time to listening okay listening to your favorite players because when you go back in the practice room then it's going to be easier for your brain to just kind of um you know recall the sounds that you heard and then be able to reproduce them in here okay makes sense cool now the second thing to do is active thinking okay when you play be sure that you are there in the moment and you really think about what the hell is going on okay so let's take the example of low notes okay easy and simple okay because there's not much you can do there's only one note to press and the rest is just ha happens in here okay so when you're playing a low note okay actively think about this crazy sound that you're creating and how you can make it better okay it's really weird to explain because everything happens in here okay so it's just about how you go about thinking okay but essentially is how can i make this rounder how can i make this better how can i make it more um def defined and refined okay so if i play a low note the first thing i check is is my note straight you know am i feeling some weird vibrations here is my embouchure um weak because i haven't been playing for a few days or is it good is the attack good no um can it be louder can it be softer whatever you know you're trying to create this invisible sculpture that you have in here and to just try to make it um you're trying to externalize that okay so when you do low notes actively think about your sound okay because if you're playing a piece you have more things to think about rhythm and notes and stuff like that okay so thinking about your sound is going to be a little bit more challenging make sense cool now the third thing is about the read okay be sure that you check your read okay you have no idea how many times i've seen students struggle with their sound and go like oh you know you know i've been playing this but it just doesn't doesn't work and then i go like okay how old is your read or is your read chipped or how soft how hard is your read if your read is not helping you then you're gonna have troubles in you know producing something that is nice so if it's too soft it's just gonna be not nice okay i mean it's, if it's too soft for you it's gonna have that weird quality if it's too hard then you're gonna struggle a lot and you're gonna get like <sighs> basically just gonna have air because it's too hard okay so you want something in between beginners i would start 
on tube and door in blue box you know then as you get more confident uh, you can bump it up to two and a half and eventually eventually to number threes remember it doesn't matter it doesn't mean anything whether you play with a three or with a two uh, it doesn't mean that you're better or worse okay it's just depending also on the on feet but that's something else so anyway um check your read okay also be sure to change your read don't leave your read on for like six months okay because that's gonna that's gonna be dead in like a week probably okay so if your read is too old it's just gonna be it's gonna suck okay <laughs> and the sound that you're gonna get is not gonna be nice okay so if in doubt you're playing go like oh, i don't really like my sound so much what's happening i have no idea let's change the read change it okay you might get something that works better or you might get something that works worse and you can go back to your uh, to your read okay but in doubt change your read okay and then go through these three things when you play so you actually actively thinking and creating this individual invisible sculpture which is your sound your unique sound that is here okay so we're done with the video i hope that made sense leave me a comment with questions or whatever if that relates to sound or whatever you know saxophone related things that you might have uh you might have you want to ask me um also be sure to check out the free class the free saxophone class that i have just be sure to check it out in the link appear below in the description and there's more tips how to on how to take your saxophone playing to the next level it's a great great class so i really highly recommend that okay uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you help to support the channel and i will see you in the next video happy uh happy sounding whatever happy <laughs> Happy practice. <laughs>